Rust one fusions represent about 1-2% to of non-small cell lung cancer. It's uh, predominantly lung adenocarcinoma histology. Uh, it's typically detected by uh, FISH or uh, DNA sequencing methods. Uh, and the reason it's so important is because we have some fantastic drugs that target ROS1. Uh, so crizotinib is now uh, approved by the FDA for treatment of ROS1 rearranged non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, in a clinical trial uh, that was performed, that was published in 2014, 50 patients treated with crizotinib had a response rate, overall response rate of about 70% with a, a progression-free survival. So the time it takes from, uh, from starting the treatment to the cancer progressing on average was over 19 months. So, uh, so it was uh, extremely uh, fantastic uh, activity in ROS1 rearranged lung cancer. Uh, so that was approved by the uh, FDA for th that indication uh, in March of this year. Previously, it was approved as, a, as an ALK inhibitor and ROS1 fusion share uh, high sequence homology uh, to ALK. But invariably, uh, patients can develop resistance to crizotinib, uh, even though typically the benefit is, is for some time, uh, resistance can develop. And uh, those mutations usually occur in the ROS1 gene that prevent crizotinib from, from binding uh, to ROS1, but there are several new drugs in development that may be able to overcome that resistance. For example, uh, this year at, the, at our ASCO meeting, uh, Dr. Solomon uh, discussed uh, the ROS1 uh, fusion patient results from a drug called orlatinib, uh, which is over to, able to overcome some of these resistance mutations. And even uh, some patients who had progressed on prior crizotinib uh, had some clinical benefit and responses. 